doing it. Have you heard? Netherfield Park is let at last. Do you not want to know who has taken it? Well, as you wish to tell me, my dear, I doubt I have any choice in the matter. Mr. Bingley is his name, and it seems he's a young man of large fortune. He has five thousand a year. And he's single, my dear. Think of it. <gasps> he's single? Who's single? Uh, Mr. Bingley, what apparently. Shh. Uh, what a fine thing for our girls. How so? Um, how can it affect them? Oh, Mr. Bennett, how can you be so tiresome? You know, he must marry one of them. Uh -huh. Oh, is that his design in settling here? How can you talk so, Mr. Bennett? This is a serious matter. You must go and visit him at once. Good heavens. People. Is it if you do not, as you well know, Mr. Bennett? Listening, you never listen. Yes, Papa. Visit him? Oh, no, no, I see no occasion for that. Oh, Mr. Bennett! Go yourself with the girls, or, still better, send them by themselves. By themselves? Aye, for you're as handsome as any of them, Mr. Bingley might like you best of the party. Oh, my dear, you flatter me. When a woman has five grown-up daughters, she ought to give over thinking of her own beauty. Well, in most such cases, a woman hasn't much beauty to think of, my dear. Now, seriously, Mr. Bennett, you must go and see Mr. Bingley. I'll tell you what I'll do. I shall write to Mr. Bingley, informing him that I have five daughters and he's welcome to any of them that he chooses. They're all silly and ignorant like other girls. Well, Lizzie has a little more wit than the rest. But then he may prefer a stupid wife, as others have done before him. There, will that do? How can you tease me so? Have you no compassion for my poor nerves? Oh, you mistake me, my dear. I have the highest respect for them. They've been my constant companions these 20 years. <laughs> you don't know what I suffer. Well, I hope you will get over it and live to see many young men of 5,000 a year come into the neighborhood. It will be no use to us if 20 such should come since you will not visit them. Depend upon it, my dear. When there are 20, I'll visit them all. Look at them! Five of them without dowries! What's to become of them? Yes, what is to become of the wretched creatures? Perhaps we should have drowned some of them at birth. Mr. Bennett. <coughs> Don't keep coughing so, Kitty. For heaven's sake, have a little compassion on my nerves. Well, Kitty has no discretion in her coughs. She times the mill. Oh, you take delight in vexing me. What should we care for Mr. Bingley, since we are never to be acquainted with him? Mama, why aren't we to meet Mr. Bingley? Uh, I am sick of Mr. Bingley! I'm sorry to hear that. If I'd known as much this morning, I should never have called on him. You have called on him! I'm afraid we cannot escape the acquaintance now. Is he amiable? Who? Is he handsome? Who? <laughs> He's sure to be handsome. <laughs> How good you are to us! Yeah, well, well. <laughs> oh, but you had five daughters, Papa? Well, I told him if he ran into five of the silliest girls in England, they would be my daughters. <laughs>